Question 1. Dan, Eddie and Fan shared some cards in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 2. Fan gave a quarter of a cards to Dan and Eddie in the ratio of 2 is to 1. As a result, Fan had 5 more cards than Dan. How many cards did Eddie have in the end? Given that this is a ratio question, Usually, we will be using the ratio table. However, for this question, it will be easier for us to use a model. It will be much easier to visualize. So let's draw out the model comparing Dan, Eddie, and Fan. The ratio is 1 is to 3 is to 2. After that, it mentioned Fan gave a quarter of a cut to Dan and Eddie. She's going to give away a quarter of a cut. it will be much easier if we cut it into two each so that we have four. So if we cut each unit into two, we must do the same for the rest. Okay, and a quarter, which is this unit. She's going to give this one unit, a quarter to Dan and Eddie in the ratio of 3 is to 1. Therefore, imagine before Fan gave out this one unit, she decided to partition it into three parts. So for example, she's going to do this. She's going to partition this into three parts. Therefore, out of these three, she's going to give Dan two units and Eddie one. Again, if we cut this into three, the rest we must also do the same, right? But instead of cutting each one into three, it'll be very messy. So I'm just going to write the number of units inside so that it's much easier to see. Okay? And she's going to give this two units to Dan and one unit to Eddie. So I'm going to start shifting it. This three units is going to move away. Two units is going to move here. Two units here and one unit here. Then we can delete. This is the final ratio. And given that Fan had five more cards than Dan in the end, Look over here, Fan had 9 units, Dan had 8 units. Therefore, we can conclude that 1 unit is equal to 5. From here, moving on, how many cards did Eddie have in the end? So Eddie had 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19 units. Number of cards... Eddie had in the end 5 times 19 which is 20 times 5 100 minus 5 95 next question 2 3 squares A, B and C are overlapped as shown below the area of square A to the area of square B to the area of square C is 2 is to 7 is to 13. If the total area of the shaded figure is 72 cm square, what is the area of the unshaded part? So for the three squares, it's square A, square B, and square C. Alright, just to be clear. Now they mentioned that the area of square A to square B to square C is 2 is to 7 is to 13, which means this is 2 units. This entire is 7 units and then this biggest square is 13 units. 
given that the total area is 72, so the shaded area, it's here, the two units, and also this part. And what can we say about this shaded part? How many units is it? We just need to take the entire area, which is 13, minus away the area of B. So it's 13 units minus 7 units to give us 6 units. Okay. Therefore, we can see that 6 units from here plus the 2 units from here, which is 8 units, must be equal to 72 cm squared. Because the total area of the shaded figure is 72 cm squared. From here, we can figure out one unit, which is 72 cm squared divided by 8 to give you 9 cm squared. And then what is the area of the unshaded part? To find the unshaded part, we just need to take B minus away A. In this case, we would just need, let me use this color, to find this B, this unshaded part, 7 unit minus 2 unit to give us 5 units. Therefore, area of the unshaded part. Is equal to 9 cm squared. That's for one unit. We're going to multiply it by 5 to give us 45 cm squared. Question 3. The ratio of the number of toys Willie had to the number of toys Jace had was 6 as to 5 at first. After Willie sold a third of his toys and Jace bought 21 more toys, Jace had twice as many toys as Wheelie. How many toys are there together at first? We are going to set up the ratio table. In this case, number of toys Wheelie had to number of toys J's had and obviously we need to have the before after at the beginning the ratio is 6 is to 5 hence we have 6 units to 5 units after that, what happened? After Willie sold one third of his toys, Willie sold one third of this. Therefore, he's left with four units. Because one third is two units, isn't it? Another way to look at this, it's two out of six. Willie sold two out of six. Therefore, you're left with four out of the original six. And Jay's bought 21 more toys. Therefore, we're gonna write five units plus 21 okay Jay's had twice as many toys as Willie this is twice of Willie so what does it mean it means that if we take this we times 2 it will be equal to this again uh, given that Jay's had twice of Willie if we take this we multiply it by 2 it will be equal to this. Hence, we can write 8 units after we multiply by 2, right? Is equal to 5 units plus 21. Therefore, what is this 21? This 21 must be 3 units. So 3 units is equal to 21 one unit will be 
21 divided by 3 to give us 7. And how many toys are there all together at first? There are 11 units. So number of toys there are all together at first. 7 times 11 and give us 77 toys. Moving on. Question 4. There are 78 apple pies, banana pies and cherry pies at first. After two thirds of the apple pies and 18 of banana pies were sold, the ratio of the number of apple pies to the number of banana pies to the number of cherry pies was 3 is to 1 is to 2. Find the number of banana pies left. Let's again set up the table. We have number of apple pies to number of banana pies to number of cherry pies. Okay, and as, as always, in this case, we have a before and after scenario. Before, after. For this case, we're going to work our way backwards. Again, it's either you work it forward or you work it backwards. In this case, it will be much easier to work it backwards because we are given a definite uh, ratio at the end. So we can actually start from this point. Three units. One unit. Two units. And we can work our way backwards from here. So what was happening before this? Um, 18 banana pies were sold. This is after 18 banana pies were sold. Therefore, we're going to return the 18 banana pies. Therefore, it's one unit plus 18. Next, after two thirds of the banana pies were, uh, apple pies were sold. Therefore, this must be the one third of the apple pies remaining. Again, if this is one third of all the apple pies, what is the number of uh, the number of units at the beginning it must be three out of three which is nine units let me change this nine units make sense we have nine units you sold two thirds of nine units yeah you must be left with three units okay and we are left with cherry pies anything happening to the cherry pies no therefore we're just gonna bring this up here hence in total we know that this whole thing you add up must be 78 apple pies, banana pies, and cherry pies at first. So how many is equal to 78? 9, 1, 2, that would be 12 units plus 18. So let's write down the equation. 12 units plus 18 is equal to 78. What about 12 units? 12 units would be equal to 78 minus 18. That will give you 60. Why minus 18? Therefore, if we were to look at this, 12 units. 12 units plus 18 is 78. Okay, you can look at it this way. If we were to minus 18, so 12 unit must be 60. All right, let me remove this. Now let's find out what is one unit, which happens to be the answer, isn't it? Find the number of banana pies left. So let me cut this up. Number of banana pies left which is the one unit, so it's 60 
divided by 12, which is 5. And that is the answer.